Hello everyone. I welcome you to this week's edition of Focus on African Women's Health, a program dedicated to promoting African women's health at home and abroad. It's great to see you here and thank you for joining. This program shares the global message of health for all and emphasizes that African women must not be left behind in optimal health. My name is Dr. Olajide Ogunshiji of the School of Nursing and Midwifery, Western Sydney University, Sydney, Australia. Last week, I promised that I'll be bringing you findings of a study on breast cancer screening practices of African migrant women in Australia. However, as we prepare for this year's Mother's Day, I felt that I should bring you this special edition of the program to celebrate mothers. It is a special edition because I am bringing Western Sydney University's initiative for this year's Mother's Day. I'm very excited about it as I'm part of this great initiative. Towards the end of this program, I will also bring a song to round up the program. I learned that song in my primary school and I will sing that song for you. In its media release, Western Sydney University is reaching out to mothers in Australia and asking them to share their insight and wisdom on navigating the early days of motherhood with the launch of the Mother's Day Letters Project. The project is to help promote resilient mothers and address the issue of maternal anxiety. We are asking mothers to pinpoint exactly what helped as they embarked on the road to motherhood. We have created a website for mothers to access the letters and add their own. And you will see the link to this particular website on the heading of this video. And as part of the campaign, letters will be hand delivered to new moms at Westmead Hospital on Mother's Day, which is 13th May, 2018. The letters will also be available on a website for mothers to read and to contribute to. So I encourage you to write your own letter today and say hi to a new mother out there and share your experiences. Your letter should be addressed to a new mom in Australia and how you are able to navigate the early weeks of learning how to care for a newborn. All letters are strictly anonymous and your identities will remain protected. Please write a letter to a new mother today and I will do so as well. In rounding up today's edition, like I promised earlier on, I'll be singing a song for mothers. This song will be sung in my primary language in Yoruba, which is a Nigerian language. The song, simply translated, says that mothers are invaluable jewel. Mother, who carried me in her womb for nine months and held me around for three years. Mother, a priceless jewel. And here it goes. Iya ni wura iye biye ti akole fowora Iya ni wura iye biye ti akole fowora Oh, no, you me for sure, my son. 
Oh, mommy, for the matter. Iya, ni wura, iye biye. Ti, akole, fo wura. Iya, ni wura, iye biye. I call it for Oh, no, you may for Si akole fowora. That is it for this week. Thank you for being with me. And I look forward to seeing you next week, Monday. Meanwhile, I wish all the mothers happy Mother's Day as we celebrate their day on Sunday. Once again, this is Dr. Olayide Ogunshiji of the School of Nursing and Midwifery, Western Sydney University. Until next Monday when we meet again, it's bye for now. Thank you.